No, I am not in my bathroom. Yes, this was an incredibly disappointing loss to Texas A&M, like a heartbreaking loss. It was especially heartbreaking loss because they really just kicked our ass. Uh, Nebraska got an early seven-point lead, and you thought, and I thought, I don't know what anybody else thought, I thought, okay, maybe we can hit threes, and they are supposed to be one of the worst three-point shooting teams in America, and we'll just put this game away early, and I won't have to get all bent out of shape about it. And boy, did that turn out to be a bucket of poop. It, it's more like the other team just decided, well, that was enough of your fun, and uh, then they decided to hit threes like they never have before in their life. Uh, drive the lane, rebound. We knew they were going to rebound. I don't think that what we, I don't think what we knew was that Nebraska wasn't going to respond the way that they did, and Nebraska did not respond well in this game. Uh, Texas A&M took control of the game pretty much what maybe halfway through this first half and and never really let up, and Nebraska did nothing to overcome their problems. Uh, Texas A&M beat them in the paint, beat them to the hoop. The other disturbing thing was is they beat them to a lot of loose balls. Uh, if I had to give an MVP to Nebraska to this game, it would have been Josiah Alec, a guy that may not be the most talented guy, but he played his guts out, and he still went after all the loose balls. And I don't think you saw that much effort, or you didn't see the same level of effort from our Nebraska players that you usually do. And that that probably was the most disappointing game thing about this game is that um, we really didn't have an answer for the Aggies. And we really, to me, it looked like we just walked around. I'm not doing this from my bathroom because, uh, you know, our basketball team doesn't do this. I've been doing coordination for a long time. And I can tell you that one thing is constant about Nebraska's men's basketball. When anything goes wrong, everybody just shits all over the basketball team. You get these constant things about, oh, should you shut your program down and get men's hockey or some stupid-ass comments like that. You know, we had the best season we had in 23 years. This was the most fun team I can remember watching in my entire lifetime. It, they won more games at home. Fred Hoiberg figured out how he can coach in the Big Ten. We're going to lose some guys, you know, Tom and Aga, Alec, uh, C.J. Wilcher, Mast, who really didn't show up in this game at all, which was really disappointing. I know there's some of you, I got comments from Twitter, from people on Twitter, that he hasn't shown up at all all season, but that's bullshit. He has played pretty decent and contributed to the team's success this year. Like I said, we tend to poop on him when everything goes to hell, and it certainly went to hell tonight. You know, and part of that is the whole guy that left us thing is, um, you know, hanging over that. But I, I hope everybody forgets about that because it doesn't matter. We have a new shiny new athletic director coming in, and it sounds like everybody knows him and everybody says he's a great guy. Might be from Iowa, Iowa again, but what the hell? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. We'll let that go. Back to basketball. Uh, we still have a women's team playing later tonight against Texas A&M. And even though they are also one of the funnest teams I can remember watching because of Jazz Shelley and Alexis Markowski and our new freshman Potts, Natalie Potts, uh, you know, they could resurrect the pride of Nebraska and probably not as many people will care. And that's kind of a damn shame. I hope you do. Okay, back to men's basketball. Anyway, disappointing loss, horrifying loss. You know, sad to see Tom and Aga with the emotions at the end. Um, you know, my, the other night, my rotten son came downstairs when he found out that we were playing Texas A&M, and he looked at me and he goes, well, they took Texas A&M, and then, or they took Trev Alberts from you, and now they're going to take your hopes and dreams. And he went to hockey games tonight, so I didn't have to put up with him at home, but I'm sure he's going to walk in the door when he gets home from his freaking hockey games and say the same shit. So that's what I get to deal with. He has a mother that loves him, in case you're wondering about me, you know, like throwing him out of the house. He has a mother. That's why he gets to stay here. Um, I'm not sure of anything else. It's getting kind of rambly. And I have a migraine because our, watching this entire game was really difficult. Again, a very disappointing, but not a disappointing season. I don't think that... 
I don't think this one game makes the entire season a failure. I think that it hopefully sets the stage for better things for Nebraska. Pick 12th, finish third, and we can continue to finish in the top half of the Big Ten. You know, and that would be something looking forward to going forward with Nebraska men's basketball. I hope you're all doing well. Don't take this too hard. Um, if one thing, you know what it did? It got us to pay attention to other sports. Wrestling is doing decently right now. Like I said, women's basketball plays later. And baseball is looks like they're kicking ass. And, you know, they might contend for the conference. And then let us all down again. God help us. Go Big Red.